Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg, welcome to my machine shop. I'm really excited about today because we're gonna be making parts for the first time for our 30cc Wallaby twin cylinder engine. We're gonna start by downloading the files we need for the base, make a few simple parts on the lathe, and then open up Fusion 360 for the first time. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you around my website, how to download files and contact me if you wish. We're going to study the prints for the base, focusing on a few of the small standoffs so we can get started making parts on the lathe. But before we go to the computer, I want to show you what we're going to need for the raw stock. We're going to need a little bag of hardware, a couple of sizes of aluminum round, some flat bar stock, and a little sheet of 1 8 inch aluminum for the base itself. All right, let's go look at the computer. The first thing we need to do is download the files. So head on over to my website, gregsmachineshot.com. You should be presented with this page here. If it's your first time visiting, go ahead and take a moment to look at, around at some of the projects that I've been working on. To download the files, we go up to this download item in our menu. Downloads Wallaby Twin Four Stroke IC Engine. If we click on that, we're presented with the download options. The first one is a Wallaby construction article, the original article written by Edgar Westbury in 1962. That's the engine that this engine is based on. If you're interested, download that and become familiar with the engine. Under this is the base assembly. These are the drawings that we're looking for today. Go on over and click here and click the download, but you'll notice I'm not logged in yet. To, to log in, you need to create a username. To do this, head on up to register, click register, enter a username of your choice, and your email address and click register. You should receive a confirmation email saying that you're registered. If you don't get this email, and I've had a few users say that they haven't, come back, click the reset password, and you will be able to reset your password, and this, I guarantee, will allow you to create a username. Come back to the website, enter the username and password here, and log in. Okay, now if we go back to the download section, we'll notice that you can, in fact, download the files we need. So click download. Okay, let's open up that file and take a look at them. Once you download this file, open up the zip and you will be presented with this list of files here. There are some PDF files of the drawings. There are some .f3d files, which are Fusion 360 files that we'll, that we'll be using for our CAM for the CNC machine. And at the very bottom, there is a version.txt file. This will contain any version information. OK, go ahead and open up this file here, baseassemblywallaby.pdf. This is the high-level drawing for the base assembly for the Wallaby. Here we can see there's a wooden box, which will be used as the base with our aluminum plate and the rest of the assembly mounted to it. On page two is the base assembly. This is what we will be building first. And if you'll notice, in the dark blue are our standoffs. These are the parts that we'll be building on the lathe first. On the third page, you will find the bill of material with a description, the part number of the parts, and the quantities for each. Go ahead and open up the drawing for the standoffs. Looking back at our zip file, we want to open up this drawing here, base standoff wallaby.pdf. It's a single page, and there are two dash number configurations for us to build the short standoff and the tall standoff. The short standoff is a very simple part, and we'll build this one first. It's three eighths of an inch long, three eighths of an inch in diameter, and it has a 0 .140 inch hole drilled through the middle. The tall part is very similar. It's 3 8 inch in diameter. It's a little over two inches in length. 
and we have some tapped holes at each end for a 632 screw. I've placed some decorative features here in the middle of the part that you can put in yourself or not. The first part we want to focus on is this little dash 01 configuration. Let's go and turn this part on the lathe. We're going to start off by facing our rod. We'll set the carriage DRO to zero. Make sure that we're in the diameter mode. We know we want two parts, three eighths of an inch long. So we're going to come back to 0.75, which is twice that, plus a little bit extra for, to allow room for cutoff. Then. We just kiss the part with the tool. Go back to the DRO and set it for a half of an inch. We know that this is the size of our stock. Then we bring the part to the proper outside diameter plus about maybe 20 thousandths to give us some room for a nice final clean cut and to calibrate our DRO. getting close to our 0.375 desired diameter so we're going to take one small cut take a diameter measure with our micrometer reset our DRO and then come down to our final dimension Let spot drill. And drill to a depth of 0.85. Deeper the hole. We'll set our carriage DRO. Go over three seventy five. and repeat.
Let's deburr the holes. And there we go, our first part. Congratulations. All right, we finished our very first parts on our 30cc Wallaby model engine. Let's go ahead and get back to the lathe and make the tall standoffs. They're gonna follow the same process as the short ones, except they'll be a little bit longer. And we're gonna put some decorative curves in the middle of them. And we're, we're gonna tap some holes in the end instead of drilling all the way through. All right, let's get back to it. The tall standoff is made just like the short one. It's just a little taller. This is the tool we'll be using to make the decorative notch in the middle of the tall standoff. It was ground from a piece of high speed steel. We just kissed the workpiece with our tool, then set up the DRO. That's better. I measure the distance of the notch to the end of the workpiece. I'm gonna call that 2.35. Then we're gonna set up our DRO. We're gonna set up the diameter to 0.5. That's the diameter of the workpiece. And we're gonna set the position of our carriage at minus 2.35. I bring the carriage back to about zero on the DRO. And we see that that's pretty close. Looking at the print, we see the total length of our standoff is 2.036 inches which means this center notch is going to be at 1.018 inches. And the depth is called out 37 thousandths. Let's give that a try. I'll bring the carriage to 1.18. Once again, I will just kiss the workpiece with the tool and then I'll set the zero point of the cross slide on the DRO. Perfect. Zero the DRO. So the cross slide is at zero. We're gonna make sure that we're in radius mode on the DRO then we're going to advance this to about 37 thousandths. Okay, let's see how we did. I think that looks good. So then back to the DRO. Let's zero our carriage point, because according to the drawing, we want to go 200 thousandths each direction. And make, let's take another cut. Good. Now let's step and repeat. Let's deburr it a little bit with some Scotch Bright.
Nice. Then we center drill and drill for a 632 tap. And then we tap to 632. I turn the chuck manually. Then we want to part it off to 2.036. We turn the carriage until we get this distance from the end and part it off as we did before. Before I completely part it off, I want to deburr this edge right here. So there's our tall standoff after parting off. What I'll do is I'll make one more just like this while I have the half inch collet in the machine. Then I will put a 3 8 inch collet in, load this into the lathe and drill and tap this end just as I did this end. And we'll call the standoffs complete. All right. We've officially kicked off the build of our Wallaby 30cc model engine. We've got the first parts we need for the base. And we've had an introduction to uh, some lathe operations. As you can see in this video, I emphasize the use of the DRO, which might be a little bit unusual, but I've got it and I really like it. And it makes machining on the lathe very much like machining on the mill. Next video, we're going to turn to Fusion 360 and make some parts on the CNC machine. So until then, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting my machine shop. Until next time, have a great day.